Hi, it's Angela, and tonight we're doing a fungal acne safe skincare routine. First, I need to put away my hair. Okay, I have makeup and sunscreen on right now, so let us double cleanse that off. Um, starting off with a little bit of a lie, I have this e.l.f. cleansing balm, and it's not actually fungal acne safe, but it doesn't irritate my skin. I'll leave some fungal acne safe oil-based cleanser in the description. Um, but usually cleansers are a little bit more tolerant for my fungal acne just because you wash it off anyways. So double cleansing is great at taking off makeup and sunscreen and essentially any oil-based um, products. All you want to do is rub it on your dry skin. Then I just wet my hands and rub in the product so it becomes milky. And then I wash it off. Now that my makeup's off. Um, my eyes look so red, oh my goodness. I think the camera's making it worse, but I think it's the lash serum I'm using, so that's why they look very red right now. I'm going in with the Caudalie cleanser as my second cleanse, and a second cleanse is supposed to be water-based cleanser. And this cleanser is not black and safe. Now that my face is clean, I'm going in with this mask. This is a sulfur treatment for acne, and this is really good at targeting fungal acne. So my fungal acne concentrates around the forehead. I use this one to two times a week just to maintain my skin, even if I don't have any breakouts. And I'm only putting it on places where I break out or get fungal acne. So for me, it's my forehead. If you break out on your body or hard to reach areas, you can also use this as a body wash. So yeah, just a layer like that. Um, and we're gonna leave that on for 10 minutes. Let's chat a little bit about fungal acne while I have this mask on. Another product that's a really good treatment for fungal acne is Nizarel's Anti-Dandruff Shampoo because it has ketoconazole, which is the active ingredient that treats the fungal acne. Um, and for that one, it's 2%. I would say the one I'm using today is stronger, so if you're a beginner, I would recommend using the anti-dandruff shampoo first. And it's the same idea. You put on a layer, leave it on for 10 minutes, and then wash it off one to two times a week. And if that's not working, you can go for a stronger alternative like the one I'm using today. My skin is pretty tolerant. I test a lot of products on it, and so I've built up my tolerance to be able to use this one to two times a week. It's been 10 minutes, so let's wash it off. My next step is the Mugwort Essence. This is a staple in my skincare routine. This is fungal acne safe because it really only has one ingredient, um, and that is mugwort. So it's a very calming and soothing product, um, and of course, non irritating. If you want, you can also turn your essence into a mask. I did this in my last video. I want to keep things simple when I'm treating my fungal acne, so that's pretty much it. I'm just going to finish it up with some moisturizer. This is from Crave Beauty, and this is their Oat So Simple Moisturizer. I have dry, dehydrated skin. Something like this feels very lightweight, um, but at the same time, my skin feels hydrated. I find it hard to find fungal acne safe moisturizers, so I'm very happy that this one from Crave is from the Lacme Safe. My eyes look a little better actually. <laughs> Lastly, I'm just using some lip balm. I don't use anything that cool. It's just Burt's Bees. I stole this one from my boyfriend. <laughs> this is what my skin's looking like. I know it's really hard to find fungal acne safe products, so I wanted to do a dedicated video showing my favorite products that are fungal acne safe, and I hope this helped. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Okay, bye! Finished my skincare routine, but now I have to take a thumbnail photo.